Hey guys, it's Vino I went and I'm talking about Paper Mario, the Origami King, and why I may not be buying it. Well, you see, remember how they've kind of been showing us sparingly about this game, and they had a real more in-depth look recently, but they still didn't really explain whether we have experience points or not. That's the biggest thing I was looking for. I was looking more for a leveling up system, and it doesn't seem like it's going to be that. Well, I, see, I watched the IGN preview. And when I saw it, I was very disappointed because heart containers. Yep, that's how you gain health. See, I was hoping we'd still have the level up system where you have to gain experience for battling and whatnot. But no, it looks like it's just coins again and they're kind of removing that RPG element of it. Even though they're going back to the RPG styles when it comes to battles and when it seemingly comes to obviously having the partners and everything. But it doesn't seem like they're really going back to form in a sense. With the new battling system, I have no problem that they change that up. That's fine and stuff. It looks cool. But I really want the RPG system back for Paper Mario. I really want that leveling up. The FP, the HP, the badge points. Yes, they do have items which resemble badges, but I'm not seeing any points. So I'm not sure how you increase how many badges you can have on at a time, unless three is just the limit. I don't know. I'll wait till it comes out, and then I'll see how it people are talking about it. But I'm just disappointed because... We have, I think, as a group, Paper Mario fans, in general, have been asking for the old RPG style back, but they seem stubborn on not giving it back to us, and I don't get why. Why, for the last at least two games, would you go with a system that basically proven as a failure? Especially with Color Splash. I think Sticker Star sold pretty well because it was on 3DS, and I think that was the only Paper Mario game on the 3DS, but Color Splash was a bomb. I don't understand why the people behind Paper Mario really just want to seemingly completely remove the RPG elements from this game. Yes, they put some back because they realize, hey, we got to put some back because they want some RPG elements back and whatnot, but they still refuse to go back into what made the original Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door so great. And I think that if Paper Mario the Origami King is unsuccessful, I just feel like it may be gone for a good long while because the people behind Paper Mario may be not realize that it's because they, they're not giving the fans what they want and just think, okay, I guess people just aren't into this game anymore. And then they may just never make another one for a good long while. But on the other hand, if it is successful, I think that may send the wrong message. And they go, okay, people don't want the RPG fully back. They just want the battle system kind of like the RPG style. And they definitely want partners, but they don't want the RPG system fully back. No. So I just hope that Nintendo realizes and I actually part of me hopes that they could do some type of update maybe like even a day one patch to have the RPG elements in there because I do want to buy the game but I don't want to buy it and then realize that it's just too simplistic and not that fun but what do you guys think about Paper Mario the Origami King still not seemingly having a level up system for Mario let me know in the comments below thanks for watching like subscribe may God bless you all